Hello student, today we are going to see uh, class 11 NCRT example problem. It's a uh, 7th chapter, it's a 13th problem we are going to discuss. If you want all the example problem, you can go and see in my playlist, I am given all the problems chapter wise. Okay. So actually this problem, 13th problem, 7th chapter example problem, they asked uh, equation of motion. Uh, in a first equation, they asked you to prove in a calculus method. Okay. So, omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t is nothing but v is equal to u plus eat. Okay. So, it is linear motion, it is rotation motion. This equation only we are going to prove. I am taken angular acceleration is equal to angular velocity by time. Rate of change of angular velocity by time. T, if you are taken this side, we will have uh, it is d omega is equal to alpha times of dt. I am doing first NCRT method. So, integrate on both the side. I integrated both the side. Okay. Here time is a variable. Here velocity is a variable. Start from 0 end with the final velocity okay start from 0 end with t time integration of d omega omega alpha integration of t t uh, d t t okay so limit 0 to omega here 0 to t integration constant it's going to be plus c very simple okay higher limit minus lower limit higher limit minus lower limit so alpha higher limit t minus lower limit 0 plus c okay so, omega is equal to alpha t plus c. c is the integration constant we get. Okay. So, when the time is 0, angular velocity is going to be the initial velocity. Okay. So, angular velocity is the initial velocity. Initial velocity omega naught. When time is 0, the equation 1, uh, this will be 0. So, omega naught is equal to 0 plus c. So, c I will get as a omega naught, initial velocity. Okay. So, it is very simple omega is equal to alpha t plus omega naught c is going to be omega when time is zero initial velocity okay omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t so we proved equation of rotation motion uh, one okay it is a, a normal method okay uh, it's a ncrt method okay i am going to do with the next step is a normal method okay uh, so it's a normal method is very easy okay so on same step only but small changes we should do angular acceleration is equal to angular velocity by time so, angular velocity, time if you are taken here, angular velocity is equal to alpha times of time. We will get like this, integrate on both sides. Here, 0 to t. Okay. Here, initial velocity to final velocity. It is very simple. Before we are taken integration constant, now I am not taken constant because I am taken as the initial velocity. So, d omega is going to be omega after integration, omega naught, omega, alpha, dt will be t. It is going to be 0 to t. Okay. Uh, next, we have to substitute the limit, higher limit minus lower limit, omega minus lower limit omega naught, alpha t minus lower limit 0, ok. So, omega minus omega naught is equal to alpha t. If you are bringing this omega naught this side, omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t, ok. So, finally, we will get as a angular velocity uh, equation number 1, we will get like this, ok. Thank you for watching my channel, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you everyone.